that old Jake while I was working down there. He told so many jokes, I'll never remember them all. But he said while he's working up there, there's a drug store right beside of him. And uh, druggists needed some help. The hard this fella didn't know much about nothing. And he said that he, he had to go off down to the bank and deposit some money. And the fella behind the counter, all he could do is just make soda janks. Used to all the drug stores, you could buy cherry fizzes and coke floats and all that kind of stuff. But he told that fella, said, now if somebody comes in and wants something medical, just wait till them I'll be back. If they want something uh, that's, that do with the medical line or something, run, just don't. If they just don't, don't tell them I'll be back. So he's okay. And uh, so he stayed gone about an hour and come back. The fellow was behind the counter whistling and polishing the counter. He said, "Well, how'd they go there?" And he said, "Well, it went real good." He said, "Did anybody come in?" He said, "Yeah, a fellow come in and had a bad cough, bad." Crooping and coughing. He said, well, is he gonna come back? He said, no, I fixed him right up. He said, I thought I told you not to. He said, what'd you give him? He said, I went back there in the back and found a bottle of castor oil. He said, you give him a bottle of castor oil to take with Crawford Croop? He said, yeah. Yeah, why? He said, matter of fact, that's him standing out there by that light pole. He's scared to call. <laughs> that's forward <cute> to death. <laughs> that's him out there. He's scared to call. <laughs> oh, you can't call me if you call me. You better be sitting on a kaboom. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>